It's not like you to ask for help directly, Alfreda. I know. I thank you for coming regardless. Something's bothering her. I wonder what's happened. It must be important if you've gone as far as calling in outsiders like Excella and I. Stop that. We keep telling you, you guys aren't outsiders. But what's this about? I have a fairly large favor to ask. A favor? Yes. Everyone, if you'd raise your eyes to the heavens, you should be able to see a star frozen in the sky. A star? But it's daytime, so there can't be... Huh? Huh. You're right. It's so bright. I can even see it with the sun out. That thing has been up there for a few days now. I thought it was strange, but... What exactly is it? That star is slowly approaching Alfheim. In a few days' time, it will likely descend upon the land itself. A star is falling toward us? But that... that cannot be. Don't tell me. Is this another Grimoire situation? Yes. An enormous distortion is reaching across the void, dragging the star down with its dark power. Whoa, are you kidding me? W what kind of distortion can reach all the way out into space and yank on a star? The larger a distortion is, the greater its power, and the more it resists destruction. I can't imagine what's going on inside this one. Yuma, this could be a threat to the world as we know it. If you have need of my power here, I'll lend it to you gladly. I suppose this goes beyond talk of outsiders. Now that I know the gravity of the situation, I can't refuse. You have my sword. Excella, Genus, thanks. Don't worry, Alfreda. We'll stop that distortion. Thank you. But are you sure? You may face incredible danger in there, like nothing you've ever come against. We're no strangers to risk. Besides, we can hardly back out now. Right, everyone. Let's clear up the distortion before that star falls. We're gonna... So this is the worst stuff distortions have to throw at us, huh? Oh, it's already given me the creeps. I can sense a powerful presence nearby. Blind children of man, do not interfere. Destruction is the will of this world. Who goes? Show yourself! The voice is coming from everywhere. It's like the air itself is talking to us. Is this distortion somehow alive? If you interfere, I will oppose you with all that I am, all that I was, all that I will be. That's... that's Trishula. What? But Trishula died back at the showdown with Bjorg! Behold now a puppet. Soulless. Empty. Slave to strings. But in no measure less than its original. Blind children. Have you the courage to stand against the face of your suffering yet again? The draconic shape of woe. Of course. If we beat it down once, we can do it again.
that. A glorious victory! We did it! It's down! I remember that being harder. Or have we just gotten better at this? The celebrations of the fools! Revel in them while you can, for the end yet approaches. What? The distortion. It speaks again. I am not so easily denied. You have faced but a fragment of my true nature. That distorted Trishula was... only a fragment? No way. You mean there's gonna be more of them? Yuma, we should report back to Alfreda. Come on! Yeah, you're right. Let's get out of here, everyone. I will see justice done. So that was only a piece of a greater whole. And the star still hangs in the sky. If the world remains in danger, then the distortion must have spoken true. I thought that was gonna end it. I admit this is a first for me. Fragments of a distortion. Separate, but one. Don't lose hope. It doesn't matter how many of them there are. We'll just take them out like we did here, one by one. Yeah, you just hold tight, Alfreda. We'll mop this up in no time. Yes. I believe in you. Good luck, everyone. We did it! <laughs> Blind children! You flail helplessly in the dark, hoping it might somehow save your world from time's ravages. The distortion's voice again! Hey, you! You gonna stop being a big sore loser? Another fragment claimed. Another facade fallen, but you are no closer to grasping the true scale of my designs. If you've strength to wail and despair here, you've strength to fight. Go, seek the next fragment, and challenge it. Oh no, there's still another distortion? There's no end to him. Come on, Yuma. We've got no reason to stick around here. Right. Forgive me, everyone. What have I gotten you all into? Don't blame yourself, Alfreda. We're fighting for the world, remember? Yeah. It's not like we can just kick back while the world's in danger. Uh, thank you, everyone. Truly. Even so, I never expected distortions of this magnitude, nor one so... willful. She speaks truth. This entity is proving quite the trickster. Not only that, but the distortion keeps chucking these huge, beefy enemies at us. <sighs> Be nice if it called it a day already. There are better ways to spend our energy than on fretting about it here. Yuma, lead us to the next site. Yeah, 
Let's go, everyone. How's that? That had to do it. I do not comprehend. Why do you struggle? Why do you resist Oblivion's embrace? You again? Your voice is getting real grating, you know that? Destruction is the will of the world. Why do you, a single fragment of it, resist? The will of the world? You mean the world wants to be destroyed? How can you possibly know that? We should get out of here and find the next one. We don't have much time. Wishes its own destruction? Yeah, that's what the voice said anyway. Well, it's a liar! Don't listen to it! Is it truly lying? Huh? If the world longs for its own end, maybe this distortion really is an embodiment of its will. That's not true. It can't be. Look around you. Around? Yeah, the signs are everywhere. See those flowers? How oh, beautiful. I'd never noticed. And the sweet bird song. The insects alighting on the petals. Wings glittering in the sun. See? This world is beautiful. How could this be a place that wants to end itself? We have to protect it, no matter what. Yuma. You're right. Forgive me. In a moment of weakness, I was tempted to think... No. I cannot turn my back on this. I brought these distortions into the world, and I will see them gone from it. Keep strong, Elfrida. We're making progress. As long as we stay a step ahead of them, the distortions won't be a threat for much longer. Please, everyone. You're this world's only hope. I'm gonna do it!
We did it! Why? Why do you rail against the inevitable? Destruction is the only certainty. Time undoes all things. Blind children, why save what refuses to save itself? Your people hate each other, war upon each other, slay each other. You're wrong. It's true, we do those things, but we also build, we nurture, we love. To struggle, to hold fast and fight with the will to see tomorrow, that's what it means to live. Even if the fate of the world is destruction, we'll fight against that fate with everything we have. We done here, Yuma? Let's get moving. Yeah, let's go. Oh, everyone, look, up in the sky. The sky? Oh, the star's a little bit smaller. Further away, but still looming. I don't believe we're out of the woods yet. But the distortions are clearing up, right? It hasn't been for nothing. Yes, nearly there. Fight on and all will be well. I'm sure of it. Okay, just a little bit more. We can do it, everyone. Say anymore, you know. I'm not listening. This world wishes survival. Ruin is not its will. The distortions are coming apart, and the world's coming back to its senses. You don't need to look any further than that. It's trying to live. No. Impudence. Insolence. Time undoes all things. Stubborn. That ain't cute on a guy, you know. If defiance is your chosen path, if survival is the will of the world, let us put it to the test. Gird yourselves and hold fast your full resolve. Next we meet, a world shall take wing and form as the last and greatest of its guardian dragons. Last and... no, the last dragon? That would mean... Yuma, we need to move. Oh, okay. So the next distortion is to be the last. Yeah, I mean, the voice said as much, so I'm pretty sure. That star, it's still up there, but we're almost done. We've come this far, haven't we? There's nothing left for us to fear. We'll fight with all we have, just like always. <sighs> Yuma, something on your mind? Yeah, that last dragon the voice mentioned. It couldn't be... Could it? The world is counting on you all. Go, and do not falter. Here we are, Mr. Big Bad Distortion Voice. Where's this 
ultimate guardian dragon you were talking about. <laughs> your haste will be your downfall. Worry not. The final guardian will show itself soon enough. What? I knew it! It's the Shining Dragon! This one is nothing like the puppets you have faced. This is the genuine article, wrought anew from souls scattered across this world. The real Shining Dragon. There is no greater judge of the world's will than he. If you would defy the world itself, then defeat the mightiest of the world's dragons! Yuma! Shining Dragon, it's really you! I thought I'd never get to see you again. Yuma! Why are you... I am myself, and I am the Distortion. To undo this affront to the world and unravel its profane fabric, you must defeat me. Defeat? No, I could never fight you. This is not the time for hesitation, child. Destruction nears, and we have before us a means of turning it from the world's doors. I can't. I won't fight you, Shining Dragon. I... I see. You refuse, no matter the cost. Then let the first strike be mine. Watch this! Dragon. You've become so strong. Shining Dragon. Oh! What's 
is shaking. The distortion's collapsing. Everyone out, now! Yuma, go. No, we finally came together again. A temporary, distorted reunion. I must disappear now. It is the way of these things, Yuma. That I had this chance to see how much you've grown was enough. Shining Dragon. Okay, I'm... I'm going now. Yes. Goodbye once more, Yuma. Goodbye, Shining Dragon. Welcome back, everyone. Look, up in the sky. Ah, the star's gone. Then the distortion is no more. Yes, whatever grasp it had on the falling star is gone. You've saved us all. Thank goodness. Thank goodness, everyone. Eradicating a distortion of that magnitude, I'd never imagined it possible. Yo, what? A distortion? You mean there's more of those giant nightmares out there? But we stopped this one. We beat back the apocalypse again! We did it, Yuma! <sighs> Yuma? Don't cast your eyes down now. Look up, Yuma. Genus, the Shining Dragon spoke to you, didn't he? He saw how you've grown. If he had pride in you, you should be proud of yourself, too. Yeah, I... I know. I'm okay, Genus. I promise. I mean, he came back once, right? So now I know. Now I know he can do it again. I'm sure we'll meet again someday, Shining Dragon. <laughs>